This is a video for uh, Henry Leonard, Henry Leonard, and Chevy Cheeseburger. Henry, first you. Uh, I saw your video from a month ago of trying to figure out how to connect your control arms to your frame. But what you got to do, you got to have a connecting point. And all I use for this is just a round rod going front to back. That would, you know, to the right length to fit in between. And you put that on there, and your control arms will fit just like that. Very, very simple to do. Very easy. I expect to see a video of your control arms on there soon. Chevy Cheeseburger. First, thanks for giving me credit on your last video you did on your frame. Uh, that's really appreciative when someone does give the credit for that. Uh, second, uh, you're talking about building your own f control arms to go with your frame. Uh, I suggest using a uh, another control arm that's real close as a pattern. Uh, this will make it a lot easier. I mean, I'm using a C5 here. It's not the control arm that's supposed to go to this truck. It's just here for demo purposes. But you can just take one of these and use it as a pattern to really get a closer look to what you want. But if you don't want to uh, build your own control arms, uh, the C5 does work good. Yeah, I I use them from the uh, Ravel kits, but they do need some modifications to do what you need to do. Uh, if you want to do it that way. If you don't want to go with the C5, uh, the 33, 34 Ford that AMT puts out, they have great control arms too. And there's other kits with control arms out there too, but uh, those two are the ones I found to be the best. So yeah, uh, thank you and good luck. I'm looking forward to more of your videos on your frame. If you have any questions or need any help in any way, you just uh, send me a message.